Привет, товарищи, и добро пожаловать обратно на мой шоу на YouTube. And today I am going to talk about the strange and unusual death of comrade Yuri Andropov, who was the former head, who was the chairman of the KGB and was the leader of the USSR from 19, from 19, from 1982 all the way until 1984. So he was based, that man, he was basically which meant he was basically the, the general secretary or the leader of the Soviet Union for almost two years from November night from November 1982 all the way to February 1984, which he held that position for four months. And so I'm going to talk about so his talk about his unusual death, which took place in 1984 in February 1984. So that was almost uh, 30. That was 36 years ago. On February 9, 1984, that was when Comrade on Drop Up died. And so I'm going to gonna go into little details about Comrade on Drop Up's death. So on Drop Up was on Drop Up became leader of USSR shortly after the death of Comrade Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev, which was on November 10, 1982, and he took over as General Secretary of Communist Party. On, on November 10th, on November 12th, 1982, and he held that position until his death on February 9th, 1984, and then he was succeeded by Konstantin Chernenko in the February of 1984. And so during his rule, he he was uh, quite in the he was in the hospital a lot of times because. Andropov was uh, sick. He was a very ill, ill person, ill man. He was very old, and he was sick. And he stayed in the hot. He was hospitalized a lot of times, and then he was hospitalized. And then I, were, from what I recall correctly, he died of kidney failure, which because he was an alcoholic, he was a drink. He liked drinking uh, alcohol, like vodka, which was like which was was off which was off limits to the people of the soviet union during that time there was this um that, that was not obtainable for some soviets the soviets in, in the country because it was um it was not it was not to it was not given to any soviet citizens during that time because it was a law during that time and soviet citizens could not drink uh, w uh vodka during that period, from what I recall correctly, when it was USSR was a country still, and so it was, um, and so it was the anti-corruption uh, campaign was still going on during that period. That was when uh, Andropov started a campaign to stop corruption that was going on in the USSR republics, southern Soviet republics like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. And so he started to uh, launch this anti-corruption campaign in the Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and a bunch of other Soviet republics in the south. And so that was that's what he uh, can that's what he launched during that time, when he was the general secretary of Communist Party of USSR from Feb from November 1982 all the way to February 1984. So he held that position for some time. And then also, and he held that position for some time. And then during his rule, during most of 1983, he did not appear in public because he was a very old man and he was very sick during that time. And so he actually stayed in hospital for some time. And he didn't appear in the public a lot throughout the 1983. And then it was during his time in the hospital when from 1983 to 1984 his his wife Tanya Andropov took care of him while he was in the hospital when he was hospitalized basically and he stayed in the hospital for and Andropov Andropov stayed in the hospital for some time and so he basically he basically stayed in the hospital for some time because he was ill basically and so he and he actually, I think it was some reports were saying that, uh, some reports were saying that when Andropov was in Kazakhstan, I think there was a corruption going on in Soviet, in the Soviet Kazakhstan. There was a cotton case, which was, there were, the Soviet factories were not uh, producing a, a lot of cotton on the fields in Kazakh, in the Soviet Kazakh Republic. And so 
and so there and so there was this uh, cotton there on the fields of the Kazakhstan, and they didn't produce enough. And so the, and so um, and so I remember there was one uh, government official. Some government officials were arrested over there because they were involved in the uh, corruption in the Soviet republics and the Soviet Kazakhstan. And so I think it was one person attempted to shoot to kill Andropov when he when the corruption was going on there, and they he attempted to sh kill Andropov during that time. But um, I'm not sure what happened. There was there were some reports saying that someone attempted to kill Andropov because of the anti-corruption uh, campaign or something like that. And he started arresting a bunch of government officials who were responsible for the corruption that was in the USSR. And so by um, the November 1983, that was when the 60, 66, 66th anniversary of the November, October Revolution Parade took place. That was held in Moscow in the capital of USSR, which was at the time. And that now is present day Russia. And so Andropov did not appear at the at the uh, parade because he was ill during that time. He was still hospitalized, and he lived in an apartment building. I I forget the name of it uh, of the apartment building he was living at during that time. And so he did not appear to the the October Revolution parade. And so by 1980, by 1984, that was when he, that when he died. And so there were some reports saying that he was killed by Soviet mafia, like Brezhnev was in 1982. There were some reports saying that in the, some documents in the Soviet, in the Soviet Union or in modern day Russia today. There were some reports saying that they were killed by uh, Soviet mafia in the uh, Moscow during that time. And so um, during that time, it was um, during that time it was in, during that time he was killed. No, he wasn't killed. He died because he was old. He died at the age of sixty nine. That was just uh, that was just um, that was just uh, maybe around that was maybe around eight or six months after he was elected the at the chairman of the Supreme Soviet, which was like a office in the Soviet Union basically that was like another uh, uh, government position you held during that time and so he died on February 9th 1984 so once again there was this music playing on the radio there was an announcement on TV no one knew what was going on and so later on they announced that it was comrade Andropov died in the Moscow at the age of 69. And there are some reports saying that he died because he was an alcoholic and then his wife took care of him while he was in hospital. And so um, and so on the February on the February night on February on the February 13th from February 9th to February 14th that was when the that was when the funeral of Andropov was held in the Moscow. And so he and his funeral was held there. And then Soviet comrade and then they announced that comrade Konstantin Chernyenko would be new leader of the USSR following the death of Comrade Andropov, Yuri Vladimirovich Andropov. And so Chernyenko didn't rule a long time. He only ruled for about one year. And then he would die in 1985, on March 11th, 1985. And then three hours later, Gorbachev became new leader of the USSR following the death of, uh, following his death, following the death of Chernenko on that same day, on March 11th, 1985. So, yep, I hope you enjoyed this video. So please drop a like and subscribe. And I'm going to make more videos on the history of Soviet Union and a bunch of other history videos on different topics. I hope you enjoy this video. So please drop a like and subscribe. Go see Danya. And I'll see you guys in the next video.